welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to start a new project. Uh, we've got this, uh, it's an antique bench uh, that I got from a customer and they, uh, they've they taken the, the bench part here, the upholster part out uh, to get uh, reupholstered by uh, another company uh, in town and uh, they, they uh, gave me the, uh, the bench to uh, repair. I don't know if you can tell in the video but uh, it's currently being held together with this uh, twine here because it's uh, falling apart. Uh, and look, by the look of it, there's uh, probably a couple coats of paint of some sort on this. And uh, the customer would like it uh, taken back down to uh, uh, bare wood and uh, potentially uh, stained uh, or depending on what the wood looks like, uh, we may just go with a clear coat on it. So start by taking all this twine off of here. Okay, so obviously we can see that uh, there are parts of this that are just coming off. Uh, I think we'll probably, I might try and just leave the rest of that together for right now. We're going to be using a, a product today that I've not used before. Uh, it's uh, Blue Bear's Soy Gel 600 GL Coatings Remover. It's a gel formulation. Uh, it should remove uh, all the layers of this paint uh, and it's a natural material soy, made out of soybeans. So we're going to see how this product works. According to the label it says uh, Blue Bear 600 GL effectively removes multiple layers of topical sealers, acrylics, enamels, urethane, latex, some epoxies and other single component coatings. And again, it's made with uh, soybeans. Let's see. Oh, ah, of course, there's an extra seal. Oh, it definitely, de definitely doesn't smell much. And we'll pour some. I just got a small container here to. I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll try it. I'm going to go ahead and put on uh, my glove just uh, in case I have to get it on my hands and I don't know what it will be like to wash off, but better safe than sorry. Oh, let's look at one of the doesn't indicate. <laughs> that would be one nice thing to have on your packaging. How long do you let this stuff sit on here? Basically, it just says put this stuff on and then use a scraper to check to see when it's softened all the way down to the surface. And if it's not, then it says to wait. Try it again. All right. All right, let's see how this stuff works. Just start by brushing, brushing on a nice, generous coat here. It's gel. That's another nice thing about it is that uh, because it's gel, it, it uh, it's going to stay in place for us. It's not going to have a lot of drunk runs and drips. I'm just using a foam brush here to put it on. I don't know if that may not work so well. It looks like it's uh, kind of eating away at the foam, to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is actually disintegrating the, the foam brush. So we're gonna set that down. We're gonna get a different kind of brush. All right, we got a different brush. Just this is just your common chip brush, cheap brushes from uh, Menards or other big box stores you can get. I, picked, I think I actually may have picked these up at uh, Harbor Freight.
All right, it's uh, it's been a while. Um, see, it's all kind of uh, bubbled up here. So we'll just kind of start checking this out, see how this looks. Sure does take it off really nicely. That is some gorgeous wood underneath there. Holy moly. <clears throat> that. Yeah, I would definitely say this is going to be a beautiful piece once it's cleared. Get this all cleaned up, get it cleared. 